You're listening to the Online Entrepreneur Experience with Jared Jenny and John Olson, aka Chew. Welcome to the next episode. I'm John Olson, aka Cheers. We got SWR, aka Jared Jenny in the house. What's cracking today, man? Not much, man. Just another Tuesday. I think it's Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. Yes. Yeah, it's Tuesday. Um, absolutely. So today I want to talk about uh, procrastination and where that gets you in life. Do you understand that? Yeah, procrastination, man. It sucks. <laughs> Yeah, it's huge. <laughs> I've procrastinated a lot in my life, as is everybody. Um, one of my mentors, he uh, passed away. I was supposed to meet him this year, but I didn't take action to actually go see him earlier, which is Bob Proctor. Um, lost a legend. I mean, but his wisdom will be there forever. So you want to spin off of that? or you Yeah, I, dude, this year it started out, I feel like every year, like every new year, we lose like famous people every year. I mean, we lost Betty White now. Like the world's not the same without Betty White. We lost Betty White. We lost Bob Proctor like this. And I mean, it's going to get us all. But, you know, I think procrastination and I'm a mastermind procrastinator, but it made me think of like middle school, right? Because middle school is kind of when you start getting dumped on with homework and assignments you know when you're in elementary school you don't really have to do that much you get to middle school and it's like you have your separate classes you're not in one room all day and I was so bad about like getting stuff done on time I remember having a it was a like an astronomy project I had to do right and you were supposed to record the stars for 30 days and like write them down and draw them I did the entire project the night before it was due like Google images, you know, you could go online and look at pictures from the day before and the day before, but you know, there's a, there's a balance there because I've always performed well under pressure. So like if I'm stressed or I feel like, Oh my God, I don't have enough time to get this done. I can do some of my best stuff in that time. But if you get out of the habit of procrastinating, you can probably do even better than you do under pressure, you know, but it just becomes such a habit. Yeah, absolutely, man. Like, um, getting your back against the wall is some of the best motivation you can do. I don't recommend it. No. So stay ahead of what you're actually trying to accomplish. That's the best way to stay ahead. But um, myself, everything, even ACDC, I was going to go see them in concert. They, they are not performing anymore because if he does one more concert, he, he could be deaf. Well, that's the power of procrastination. I will never see ACDC. I will never meet Bob Proctor. I will never meet any of these people that have passed away or are non-existent in the world anymore. I mean, obviously, if I see him in a hotel, I probably wouldn't even recognize him. So yeah. be a short dude and be like, what's up, Bob? <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> we're all like five feet tall. But, no, you know, I that's the power of, you know, when you set a goal, you have to go for it and just not procrastinate. That's like hit it as fast as possible because if it's something you want to do, you only have so much time. It's like the hourglass. The sand in the top is the future. The one right in the middle that's falling through, that's your present. And once it falls through, that's your past. And you don't want to live in the past. No. So, I mean, that's two examples that I screwed up. You know, I don't want to put it that way. I mean, obviously, it wasn't meant to be because the universe provides everything we need. Does that make sense? Yeah. 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 And I don't want to get too advanced. But. Too, too many people live with one foot in the past and one foot in the future. You know, like they're regretting what they did here. And they're excited or worried, whatever it is about what's here. So like they have one foot here, one here. Well, the present, you're going to, I mean, life will just pass you by. You can't, you got to take things day by day. I'm not saying don't have goals and I'm not saying don't learn from the past, but you have to realize that the present is your most important moment because that's, that's all you have every second. That's all you have is what's like right now. That's the only control you have. And 
you know, like anxiety, depression, you know, all of these, all of these negative feelings that people have, any therapist, any psychologist, they always tell you to live in the present because if you can ground yourself and be present, all of your anxiety goes away. You know, obviously if you're like in a car crash or you're upside down, you know, that's different, but 99.9% of the time, if you can live in the present moment, a lot of those feelings of anxiety and stress, they'll go away. Oh, absolutely. And that, that is, you know, anxiety and depression. Um, I think there was a study done. Um, depression is living in the past. Anxiety is living in the future. Yeah. So, you know, like you just said, it, it makes it go away. Well, depression is thinking thoughts that were depressing from before and you just keep keep doing it yeah well then when you think of like tomorrow i don't know what tomorrow is going to bring yeah. do i give it no why would i right it's not here yet like right. right now i'm living in the present like and that's why they call it the present because yeah. it is a it is and you know a simple example that probably everyone can relate to is we all got to pay bills. You know, we're adults. We all have responsibilities. And let's say you're worried you have anxiety. You're worried, sick about your bills. Money's a little tight, whatever. If you let that, if you let that live in your headspace constantly, well, then you're spending your present moment being worried when you could be doing something to make money so that you didn't have to worry about it. You know, if, if you waste all of your time, worried sick that you're not going to have enough money to pay your bills that's all time wasted that you could be taking action and doing something to make your life better so that's that's the importance of being grounded in your present moment you know you don't and it's hard to do i mean your mind is super powerful and it goes both ways it can be super terrifying it can be super great but you have to learn and you have to start studying and reading and figuring out and training yourself to understand how your mind works and I get anxious. Well, I mean, I have true. nights where I'll wake up in a panic attack and it's because my brain is completely in the future, right? I'm like, oh my God, something bad's going to happen. And I just like, you're clammy, you're shaky. And all I have to do is convince myself like, no, it's three in the morning. You're laying in bed. The dog is snoozing next to you. Everything is okay. Like there's no, there's no bear in the room. Everything's fine. And as soon as, and it's easier said than done, but as soon as I get myself back to that present moment, it all just like melts away. Absolutely. That, that goes with anything. That's uh, law of attraction, manifestation. I know we don't speak too much about it. Um, right. Well, we kind of do. But when you live in a, a certain headspace, you're attracting everything to you. So manifestation, if you always think on the positive, all positive things are coming towards you. If you think yeah. in the negative, all negativity is coming towards you. Say Absolutely. you stub your toe in the morning. Your day is going to go horseshit if you focus on that first action that happened. Um, another thing I was going to say, trying, yeah. to, trying to get back to my train of thought here. Um, you said a little bit about... Uh, worrying about bills and all that just know that everything's going to work out mm -hmm. nothing in this life is going to kill you money your feelings none of that is going to kill you right it's the only thing like obviously you don't put yourself in harm's way right <laughs> like yeah. but if if you're completely broke are you going to die no no, don't look at it as life and death. Look at it as, all right, I'm a little strapped right now, but what's the next step to actually better my life? Yeah. And then all of a sudden you start manifesting things like today I went to the casino, threw down 250 bucks. I was up 3,600, you know, but then I realized, all right, I could stay, play some more and lose. So yeah. I left. Yeah. So, super simple. It's all about life decisions and moving forward with your life. 
Yeah. And that's, that's procrastination 101 because you can decide, you can recognize you're in a bad situation. And if you don't do anything to actually get out of that bad situation, well, the, the recognition of being in a bad spot is useless because you have to do something. I have a, <coughs> excuse me, I have a buddy and I'd love to get him on one of these one time. He lives in the Bahamas and long story short, he came up to Minnesota for school and we became really good friends and he's back in the Bahamas now, but just envision this like six foot big black dude with dreadlocks. I mean, his name's Cody. Awesome guy. And just one of those guys that's like wise beyond his years. Right. And I remember being in college and we, I got invited to this event and the guys that were putting it on were all they did was party. You know, I mean, they showed up to class, but they were never doing anything to better themselves. And I remember though, it was the weekend and I was like, Hey, Cody, you want to go? He's like, no, man. And I'm like, what? He goes, no, I don't hang out with clowns. So what do you mean you don't hang out with clowns? And he goes, you hang out with clowns, you're going to become the next part of the circus. Yep. And I was like, you know, it's so true. Like who you associate yourself with. And that, that goes for not just people, but your thoughts and your decisions and your actions that literally forms who you are. So if you surround yourself with a bunch of BS and a bunch of negativity, that's all you're ever going to get. Yep. You want to become a millionaire, surround yourself with millionaires you'll become the next one. Yeah, absolutely. You know, Motivated people, it can grow. be that simple. Yeah, and that's it. That's why we do what we do. Yeah. And that's why, you know, that's why I brought you into the beautiful community that we have. Um, okay. You know, Mark Wilson, Callan Chafee, Eddie Sizer, freaking deuces, yourself. We all, you know, we all want the same thing. We want to be abundant. We want to be helpful to the universe yep. and put everything out that is actually going to help people. So that's huge, man. Yeah. You surround yourself with good energy and you take action and don't just think about it. You got to do it. You're going to be on a good path. I think, I think this is a good one. I like this. Cool, man. You get close also, out or what? Oh, absolutely. That's Jared Jenny, AKA SWR. Myself, I'm John Olson, a.k.a. Cheers, baby. I hope you got value from this. I want to hear replay. I want to hit comments. I want to hear everything that you guys are thinking. And share this video if you got some knowledge from it. Other than that. Great, man. And we'll hit you up next week. Absolutely. Looking forward Peace. to it. Peace. Thanks for tuning into the Online Entrepreneur Experience. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any episodes that we're releasing and any of these amazing pieces of value that we're giving out. And if you could take the time out of your day and leave us a review, we'd be so grateful. We look forward to seeing you on that next episode.